What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason and welcome back to the channel. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Instagram posting, collaborative posting, and just creating content in general. Content creation should be a priority for you and your business. And if you're not doing that, man, you need to step it up. It's 2024 and people are booking events based on what they are finding online. Not just online, on social media platforms like Instagram, like TikTok, like Pinterest. It's a real deal thing. Now, I want to talk to you about collaborative posting because that's a new thing that Instagram has kind of introduced, I would say, maybe over the past year or two. If you're a DJ watching this, if you're a small business professional watching this, and you are someone that works with a company or you own a company and you're creating content from your account but sharing it on another account at the same time, I want to record this video and share it with you because it's something that I had to bring up to my team and share with my team today so I thought it would have value to you and my people here on this platform. Real quick before I get into my little tip, my piece of advice and talking about the collaborative process, I want to just invite you to jump down below, hit the subscribe button and support me and this channel and all the content found on this channel with some sub love down below. You supporting me helps me build this channel and reach more people. Again, if you find value in this video, please, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please jump on board or throw me a uh, a thumbs up or throw me some love in the comments, all of which are super appreciated by me. Okay, let's talk about collaborative posting on Instagram. First and foremost, should you be posting on multiple accounts simultaneously? The answer is yes, but how often? Now, some people might argue something very different than what I'm gonna say, but I wanna share with you my thought process on this. So I'm a DJ that works at a company called the SCE Event Group. If you're not following me directly or the SCE Event Group, I wanna invite you to do so. On my personal Instagram timeline, with my content on Instagram, if I'm sharing something, am I collaboratively posting on my company SCE event group at the same time? The answer is yes, but there is a little bit of restriction there. And I say this because I see a lot of people posting on one account and the second account simultaneously all the time. Why I think this matters is because if you're actually gonna do a collaborative post, the goal of a collaborative post is to reach people that you're not connected to. So if you're posting on your account and you're posting on another account, you should get access to both audiences simultaneously in theory. I'm not saying it's gonna automatically happen because it doesn't really happen. There's like a whole little algorithm thing that goes on and you only get a small portion of the people that you're both connected to unless there's engagement on the content that you're sharing because it's valuable and it's good. And that's a whole nother video, a whole nother topic and a whole nother conversation. But in theory, I wanna share with you this set of rules that I think everyone could benefit from. If I'm gonna post on my Instagram profile, I do not share every piece of content as a collaborative post with my parent company. And if you're a DJ company owner watching this or you're a DJ working for another company, you don't wanna collaborate every single post with the same group, with the same profile, the same company. You don't wanna do that. The reason why is because if you're gonna always post every single thing and collaboratively share things with the same company or the same profile all the time, your likelihood of spreading your tentacles out in the algorithm are reduced, in my opinion. I've seen this kind of with our analytics looking at stuff over time. I also think you don't wanna have every single post shared on both profiles because the goal is someone is gonna see that that might not be following you, they're gonna tap on your profile and they're gonna look at your content. You want them to stay there and if they're gonna see the same exact posts that are gonna be on both profiles on your profile, then why are they gonna scroll through? They're just gonna follow the main profile that they're interested in the first place. So what's the guidance and what, what are we doing here at SCE? I inspire our team to post as much content as they want and I want them to tag SCE on every single piece of content that they share. But I only want a certain number of posts to be collaboratively shared. I want it to be the best stuff. I want it to be stuff that is stunning, that is outstanding, that shows off their personality or what they dynamically bring to the table in terms of services, their creativity or their talent. But I also want them to cause someone to jump onto their profile and to look at all their stuff. So I cap the collaborative posts to like three at most a week. Now, if someone's sharing a piece of content every single day and there's 10 of us and 10 people are sharing content every day, you're gonna easily overwhelm the system. And you don't wanna get into a place with your parent company or even your profile where you have just like too much stuff going on that people are gonna 
tune you out or not pay attention. So I like to stick to the one or two posts a day. I like to add a lot of stories. I like to share a lot of stories, both on my personal page, but also on the company page. But for the collaborative posting, which is the point of this whole video, I try not to post everything. I only post and collaboratively share the best of the best. I share now with multiple collaborative partners, mainly the venues, if, I'm, if I have a great relationship with them, or the couple, if I'm doing a wedding, or the company, if they would be willing to share that post, or other professionals that could be part of that post in some way, shape, or form, whether they were maybe featured for doing a service, or they planned the event, or something like that. The idea in a collaborative post is to share your content and for it to be received by someone, for them to share it out to their community and for you both to build together. It's a super, super cool feature that Instagram has introduced to the mix. Don't abuse it. Know what you're doing, know what your goals are, and try to be mindful of creating content that is unique to your profile, but also for the collaborative culture that you're trying to build between your profile and the other profiles that you are collaboratively sharing to. You want it to be received well, you want it to push up your brand, and you want to help each other build, and that's the point of collaboration. Keep that in mind when you're sharing stuff. So if you're sharing collaborative posts, try to tap out max two, three a week, no more than that, and post at least one or two videos a day if you can on your profile. Try to come up with engaging content, reels, Insta stories, and actual picture posts in vertical and horizontal format until you figure out the algorithm that works best for you, your services, your brand, and the people that are following you. Make sure that you're paying attention to the likes that you're getting. Make sure you're paying attention to the comments when people are commenting. Make sure that you're paying attention to the things that people are sharing. And when you see an uptick in that thing, whatever it is, Double down on it. Try to create more of that. I think those are my tips for 2024 Instagram and Instagram collaborative posting. Anyway, my name is Jason. I appreciate you checking out this video. Be on the lookout for more videos just like this. Coming to this channel in the days, weeks, and months ahead. And if you've got a question or you need anything at all, throw it in the comments underneath this video. Anyway, we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.